back in August last year, I made a video about the new Headbot Lane station that has been constructed on the Kirby branch of the Merseyrail Northern Line. At the time, there wasn't a great deal to see, but now, some six months later, it is possible to see the station building taking shape and a vital bridge that crosses the A506 has been replaced. The new station is being constructed approximately one mile to the northeast of Kirby Station, which is the current terminus for Merseyrail services. However, once Headbolt Lane is complete, Merseyrail services will terminate at the new station, with passengers transferring onto Northern Line services heading to Wigan and ultimately onto Blackburn. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the progress so far, but if you'd like to know more details about the station, I'll leave a link to my first video in the description below. Starting this update at Kirby, it is now possible to see signs of the signalling and equipment upgrades starting to be installed, with new cabinets for electrical equipment and ducting for electrical cables having been installed. Just past the buffers on the Merseyrail end of the station, it's possible to see signalling equipment that has been installed onto the bridge that will eventually signal trains onto the new track, past the platforms for Northern Services and on to Headball Lane. Kirby Station itself will remain a single platform station with trains working in both directions on the single line section. The track beyond Kirby to Headbolt Lane will however be doubled. This will be key to the reliable operation of the 4 trains per hour frequency which will see 8 trains per hour calling at the single platform in both directions with trains able to pass each other between Kirby and Headbolt Lane. Heading now to the location of the new station, the first thing I noticed was the completion of the bridge over the A506. The bridge, which has been upgraded from a single to double track, is quite interesting, as the end nearest Kirby used the old stone abutment, whilst a new concrete abutment has been constructed on the Headbolt Lane side, with a hybrid of old and new forming the central supporting pier. Heading towards the station itself along Headbolt Lane, it's finally possible to see the first signs of the station being constructed, with a steel frame that will form the station building having been erected. You can clearly see the structure that will form the station building, and work underway to build part of the 300 space car park. It is possible to get a better view from one of the northern services, but I ran out of time for that unfortunately. But Tours by Train did share some images on Twitter of the progress so far, which they've kindly sent to me. The images were taken roughly around the same time as my visit, so you get a good sense of the progress so far, not just of the station building, but it is also possible to see one of the three platforms under construction. It may look like it's still a long way from completion, but now that the steel work is in place, the station building should be completed fairly quickly. Then all that's left to do is install the new tracks from Kirby to Headbolt Lane and slew the tracks for Northern Services alongside the new platforms. Mersey Travel haven't given an exact date for the opening yet, but are still confident it can be delivered by summer this year, and I'll be keeping a close eye out for updates so I can update you closer to the time. The opening of the station will be reliant on the successful operation of the Battery Class 777s that will be needed to operate beyond Kirby, as the line to Headbolt Lane isn't being electrified. The new extension will be a big test for the seven units fitted with the batteries and could determine if battery variants of the Class 777s can be extended beyond the current network with high hopes that Mersey Rail services could be extended from Bidston to Wrexham, south from Ellesmere Port to Helsby and from Ormskirk to Preston. So there's a lot riding on the successful rollout of the IPEA Muse or independently powered electrical multiple units and as the Wrexham Bidston line is my local line I'll be paying close attention to how they perform. So that's Headbolt Lane and where Constructurally is currently up to. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And just before I sign off, I'd like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters who helped to fund the channel. But I'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time, bye bye.